Good. I was just experimenting. That's experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, watch, watch the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> the <first week. laughs> So that's your TDA beginning to hold work to hold your spine in your neutral position. Doing that and they got the middle back both of so Because what I don't want you doing is thinking about your glutes engaging when you're throwing your strikes. I want your TDA to be able to hold, overly activate. And we've already set the foundations by getting you uh, more gluteal function. So because your glutes have gotten much stronger, now we can, we, we can allow the TDA to start working and taking over the job of holding you into a neutral spine. Before we just don't do this as you come forward. We have to just learn to start articulating that. Make it a slow adjustment too. Because if you just go like this, uh -huh. you're just going to revert back to what you do already. Just very slow, very gradual change. Good, right there. So we're just trying to build the awareness. Just realize you, to, to everything, to everything that changes in life, there's always got to be a transition, right? You can't just go from one point to the other. There's always got to be a transition in the middle. So if you just go here to here, you're skipping the transition. By going slowly, you can feel the transition happen. And then from there, you'll start to feel the scapular work back. Just do it as slow as possible. Articulate the joint as slow as possible. Extend out the arms a little more. Drop the hands lower. There you go. Then slowly retract the scapula without moving the elbows. Much better, Dean. See, now you're starting to get more articulation of that humerus. Just don't bring Sweating the elbows back now. No, well, let's put, so let's say, we, I think I told you about before, you're, you're going to have two different types of restriction. You're going to have an internal physical restriction and Sweating. external physical restriction. So if you have like, if you have external physical restriction, that's like gravity, inertia, yeah. things like that, then internal physical restriction is going to be like your own body, body's dysfunction. Why, why am I sweating though? From huh? I'm sweating. You're from activating this. your whole body, bro. You're, in, you're initiating movement from yeah. your glutes, from your abdominals, and from your thoracic. And the problem is that for you, it's because you, since you've wired this for so long, yeah. we're starting to bring you into your natural positioning. So all those muscles that want to hold you in this position are now being forced to go into here. So now the muscles that you want to work are having to activate, but they have to fight these muscles. Does that make sense? So you're just having to fight your old pattern. Let's go right back to the wall. Let's press the scapula. Get out the arm. Any tension on the mid-back? No, oh, my shoulder's in pain in the right shoulder. Which one is it impinging? Oh, no, it's, it's from my old injury. I know, but we don't want that. We want to bring this forward, depress yeah, the scapula. That's better. That's, that's better. better? That's exactly where we need to be. If you feel impingement, I don't want that happening. So to pull that downward, depressing. There you go. There you go. Reach up a little higher. Small articulations, Dean. Smoother transitions. This sucks, man. I know. Depress. No, now you're shrugging. You're going. There it is, right there. Go the opposite way. Depress a little more. Come on. There it is, Dean. A little more. Three, two, one, and zero. Good. So at no point do we, we don't want any pain in the shoulder because at that no, point, yeah, if yeah. you're if you're in pain, that means you're in a, in a point sucks. of impingement. So we just have to maneuver the humerus to a point where it can actually stabilize effectively. But after that, you I'm should more feel tired like right now than when I did training with. Yeah, man, it's, it's good. <laughs> well, you're just my glutes are still tired, but my back, your mid back, especially like into my shoulders, like that whole area, it's exhausting. Right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Back to the wall again. You mean the rack? <laughs> back to the rack. No. For right now. Hip, but what do you mean, boot and hip? So, so, the, the same so thing. when you tuck it under, I mean, you go into posterior tilt. So when I say, yeah. if I say go tuck the boot under, you just keep that where it is. You see what I do there? I realign it. I put it, put this into a straight position. So what it, well, the problem is that when you try tucking it under, or when you try going neutral, you do this. Yeah. Because your brain is associated that anytime you activate your glutes through associative systems, yeah. that it has to use its lower back. Okay. So your lower back and your glutes have been wired towards working together. It's a problem right, so that everybody has. So show, show me again what you want me to do. You keep okay. the hips back. Do you flex your right hip? Your right hip is not flexed. It's not flexed. It's an ex more your an extension. Your glute is flexed. The glute is an extension. So it is contracted. Okay. So you have to just think, so, so right now it's, it's not flexed, it's flexing as this. Okay. It's extended, because you have flexion, extended. So the glute, the glute it's impossible for it to go into flexion, so it's extended. So if I, that's, that would be like me flexing the bicep, uh, saying that I'm gonna extend the bicep, but it doesn't work that way. Anyway, what I want you thinking about, if you get into this position here, then you let the glute relax. So like right there, my glute is relaxed. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I'm relying upon the TBA so I can move 
more effectively. And it's okay for it to come back a little bit. I just don't want it to over exaggerate when you're doing it. Okay? Go again. That's it. That's it. Okay? So right there you're gonna be stable. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like right there you're gonna be stable. Now what I want you to do, tuck that right glute under a little bit. Okay, keep, make sure you keep you hold that intact. Put the hip back to slide then. Belly going in. That's it. Okay. Hold that, don't let it go. Slide thoracic extension. There it is. So that's where your stance needs to be. Now you don't have to shrug your traps to hold your hands up. So now your shoulders aren't gonna get tired when you're doing your sparring, when you're fighting. Your hands will be able to stay there and naturally. Select the belly button in as you throw your right hand. See right there, better? Or just, lean. You lean yeah, better. Okay. Better. Okay, I see Suck the belly button in. Concentrate, yeah. your, okay. your, 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 uh, concentrate your contraction and your stability from your TBA, transverse okay. abdominis. Still lean a little bit. Go. Better, go. Hold. Let's rotate a little more. Hold that. Hold that position. Just like the belly button in a little more. Now rotate your trunk just a slight bit. Okay. I want you to resist this. Good. Okay, right there, now you're solid because it's your whole body making the adjustment, right? If you bent like this, then we wouldn't be good. That means your QLs are going to uh, disperse all the energy uh, away from the, from the end point of the target. Yeah. Rather than it all going into your lower back, it's all going to go right directly into the okay. opponent. So let's try keeping that in mind. Keep it. Hit it both your feet. Yeah. There it is. You got to get this spin to the left. Good. Go. Go. And if you think it, there it is. You don't keep your body so flimsy as you do it. Let me be tense. Just keep your tension on your abdominals. So when I do my movements. Okay, freeze. Check my, check my, my back and stuff. See how, how it is. Except my, I know my foot's not off the ground. But I'm just saying freeze. The like, positioning isn't too bad though, actually. Yeah, because I just want to say, like, yeah. I stopped and I didn't. That was I pretty good. It. That was actually. Keep good. that in mind, but I'm trying not to. Okay. Cool. So it's getting better. Yeah, yeah, cool. Way better. Fine, cool. Okay, look straight. Mm. Connected. There we go. Better. See, now you're starting to kind of use the movements, starting to become more fluid. Stop. Okay, it's tracking me down a little bit. If I'm starting to move back, I'm gonna move in target. Like this. And even so far, can you move back? Okay. You gotta start kind of getting yourself used to being able to move. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try it again. Good. Now you're connected. Good. Stay low. Like that. Stay low. Okay, I need you to start premeditatively moving your head. I need you to start getting used okay, to it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so move, bobbing back and forth. Like right there, you're kind of just doing this. See how I move my whole body as I'm moving my head? Yeah. So I want you thinking, move your whole body. Move your body, move your body here like this. Because you're still here, you move like this, but you don't move like this. Okay. Just see how I move? Okay, okay, okay. See that? See, that's good. You see what you're doing there? Let's see, that was good. Okay. Over here, you're already, that's premeditated head movement. Because let's say, for instance, I just had to throw a lazy strike, and I catch you right as you're making a head movement, then what you got? Okay. A counter shot right there. Okay. That was good right there. Okay. There, see, that's it. Start premeditating your head movement, do it before me. So now in case I throw a shot, see right there? You were already slipping. See, if your head moves like this, I want that to be still. There it is. Make it the rest of your body. There it is. There it is. There it is. I keep doing that. I just feel it. Like I'm holding you. I'm like a sling going back and forth. Okay? Good. I would just experiment. That's right. Yeah, okay. Right. 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 Now get used to it. If I throw right here, <coughs> there it is. See, that's good. Free your body up. Don't be so restricted. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, there it is. You got the. Yeah. You already got the capability in there. Well, I just think so. You got so many rules yeah, restricting yeah. you from people just telling you, oh, yeah. do this shit. Right. You're yeah. opening it up, bro. You're a good athlete. Dude, you're a fucking phenomenal athlete. That's what we need. Yeah. Bro, that's a dynamic knee lister. Somebody tried to do that, they're going to get clipped. Tomorrow, for me? Yeah, for sure, for sure. We'll do um, 233.